You know it'll always be unbelievable until you test the believable for yourself. You know it'll always be unbelievable until you test the believable for yourself. So you see a salesperson who's unbelievable. I mean, he customers throw out objections and he just either, it never even becomes an issue, he handles them smoothly, he's able to just push his deal uh, deals forward. He takes a person who doesn't want to do anything and 30 minutes later, they're sitting down to finalize a deal. He sees customers, customers are leaving. He walks with them and five minutes later, they're coming back in to complete the deal. You see things and he says things that you look in amazement and you say, that's unbelievable. And you're right. It'll always be unbelievable for you until you test the believable for yourself. So what you've got to do is, is you've got to take that person's style. You've got to take that person's unbelievability and you got to make it your own. See, this is where most people pull up. This is where most people, they see other people's style or they see their, their, their actions and they say, oh man, that dude's crazy. There's no way, there's no way I'm gonna do that. It, all it is is it's just sheer boldness. They don't let the fear override their process. And that's where most people pull up and they say, I'm not doing that. See, that's an excuse. That's an excuse for them to always stay mediocre, to never push the boundaries, to never become a producer. They'll stay a seller for the rest of their life. What you've got to be able to do is you got to say, look, I'm a little crazy too. You got to get that crazy gene, that boldness gene. And so when you feel the urge, when you're in the middle of working with your customers and they want to think about it, go talk about it, go pray about it, uh, we got to go do this, we got to go uh, get some other bids, whatever. Whatever they say, when you feel the urge to pull back, push forward, say it, do it. And of course it's going to come out wrong. Of course it's going to be said wrong. Of course the actions are not going to be as smooth as, as, as that salesperson that you've emulated but you keep testing it and you keep testing it and you keep testing it and you keep testing it because it's not gonna be smooth the first time. But eventually, the more that you test it, man, the un drops off and it becomes believable. And when it becomes believable, you stand there in amazement and you say, oh my God, that worked. And you're amazed and full of pride. Not because someone else did it for you, because you did it. It's unbelievable, right?